directement dans si we have the pleasure to have with us monsieur Michael Marin who is the director of CITIA et madame Véronique Crenaz who is the head of MIFA uh, uh, from ANSI the biggest festival of animation in the world uh, ANSI we, we love ANSI Anima Cirrus loves ANSI ANSI I believe loves Anima Cirrus because these last years we have started a very uh, strong uh, dynamic collaboration uh, with our presence in MIFA all these years, but also with the uh, Animation du Monde, a fantastic workshop that uh, took place here um, and was led by uh, Geraldine Bachet from ANSI. And uh, after this fantastic pitching workshop, two projects, one from Greece and one from Cyprus, uh, were selected to pitch in ANSI. So here uh, today, they are with us again, and we'll explore how ANSI uh, is a unique experience for aspiring animation students. Bienvenue. The floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks for coming. So um, yes, uh, and see love anima cirrus. Uh, yes, I just would like to first um, to say that we are very very happy to be here. As you said, um, Geraldine, uh, one of our colleagues, was there a few years ago for Animation du Monde. So our presence, it's our first time. Yeah, it, was my, it was our first time uh, in Athens last January. We talk about our presence here. Uh, so we are happy to be here. It's another big step in our collaboration and um, stay until the end because we have another uh, step to, to, to announce at the end of uh, this presentation. And I would like to thank our president, uh, the president of the festival who is there, Dominique Puteau, and uh, two representatives for the French Institute, uh, the French Embassy, Nicolas and Aimé, who are there in the, in the front row. So thanks for, thanks for coming. So just um, before the presentation and before exchanging, uh, just two uh, short clips. One is the is a live action clip about, about last June. So if you... We are not in NSC, you will see uh, how it was, and it was a great, a great, a great edition. And just after a small uh, clip, a small movie made by Gobelin, uh, it's a kind of collaboration that we have with schools and with students since uh, more than 25 years. We allow uh, students from Gobelin to do some uh, short clip, uh, one per day, and these clips are screened before every screening in Annecy. And you will see that this year they were um, very inspired by uh, Mexico, who was uh, our country of honor. So let's see the clip and then we can, we can begin. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, so first, um, before giving the floor to, to Veronique uh, Ancrona, the, the head of the MIFA, the market, uh, just a few figures um, about last year. So next slide, please. So yes, um, ANSIT is the biggest um, animation event. It's a festival and a market. Um, at the festival, we ha it's a competitive um, competition for uh, so first in 1960 when the festival was created uh, in Annecy. It was first it was the shorts, then we we have the the TV students. Um, a movie graduation movie in 1995, so it's almost 30 years of uh, student competition in NC uh, and feature film. Beside all the competition, we have, of course, a premiere special program, um, for example, dedicated to the country of owners. So last year it was Mexico, next year it's Portugal. Um, and a lot of masterclass, lots of uh, event around the movies or around the, um, uh, the creators. No, rien derrière, si tu peux. So yes, uh, it was um, after two difficult years during the, the, the COVID. Um, we already beat a record in 22 uh, with 13,000 attendees, uh, which was unexpected for us after the crisis, the COVID crisis, but in a way it was not a surprise um, because uh, what we observe, and I think it's what we can observe here, is that the, anim uh, the animation world is more and more bigger, it's more and more international. We work with lots of new countries since 20, 10 or 15 years uh, in Asia, in South America, in Africa and even in Europe. Uh, and since two years, we reach 100 countries represented. So last year, it, in 22, it was 106. This year, it's 102. What, whatever the number, it shows the power of animation and the fact that in 20 years, I, I, be, I began to work for the festival in 2001. In 20 years, the number of countries represented, the number of um, place where uh, we can see animation, production animation, it's nothing that compare with the past. So we are very happy with that. Uh, we hope that we help in a way, but it shows as well the work that we all did together uh, to, to create this dynamic uh, with, the, with the animation world. Uh, so yes, last June we reached, we are close to 16,000 attendees, which again, um, we are of course uh, quite happy and surprised to have uh, all these attendees, but the question is not Annecy, uh, the Annecy figures, it's more uh, that it reflects the power of animation, or the power of the, of the animation industry. And uh, we always have to to say that and represent to uh, institution or people that do not animation but live action, they sometimes cannot believe or cannot understand what is animation now. So we 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 always emphasize uh, on the on these figures to show that yes, it's uh, we are strong, we are uh, more than than more than ever, and as well what we can observe on on the festival side in terms of movies, in terms of topics covered in terms of te techniques, it's incredible and more rich than, than it, was, it was in the, in the past. Um, we always believe that a student should play a big role in ANSI. Um, again, I began in, to work for the festival in 2001 and already at that time, uh, students were there uh, with the competition on the festival side, but as well on the market side, uh, on the MIFA. Um, at that time, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, it was a little bit unique, and um, we had a lot of talks with producers because and with Veronique, because um, the industry was different. Uh, they were... Uh, the, the question, uh, the... the 
the, there was not an issue by chasing the talent like we have today. Uh, so 20 years ago, we have to fight, and uh, and it was a big fight with the producer because they said, oh, I don't have time to to talk with students at the MIFA, why there is student here, uh, it's not the place. Uh, so we said, yes, it's the place, and we, we will keep this, even if you're not, you're not happy, because you will need to have, uh, we, we will need to have this talent uh, in our event. And they are student now, but tomorrow they will be in your studio. So it's better for them to, to get into the industry quickly. Um, so we keep it. We develop it, and now there is no more. There is no question about that. There, everybody is want to to meet talent. Uh, we only will explain that, but we we do recruitment. So we always, as I said, we always want want to for students to play a big role in NC. Um, so in order to do that, of course, we opened the competition in 1995 to students uh, to to graduation movie, but we on our event, on the festival side, on the market side, we give more access to the student. If you take a festival badge, you have a kind of access. You can go to the screenings. You can go to a part of the of the market. That's it. <coughs> Sorry. If you have a festival badge, you can you have access to the screenings. You have access to the whole market during one day, to a part of the market during the <coughs> during the, the four days of the market. And you have access to all conferences, all masterclass, the working progress session. So we we gave more, we give more access um, uh, to the student because we want them to be connected uh, directly with the art and with the industry. And I f I think that it's better for the industry. The industry is stronger by combining um, students talking with exchanging with uh, <coughs> professional. And with talents, so for us it's uh, it's uh, it's something really important, and we we work and we try every year to develop the different platform, the different way of people to to exchange. <coughs> yes, have you have you have seen the figures are quite important. In 2013, it was uh, more than 100 and 500 students, and uh, we were close to. Yes, to four uh, four thousand. We had to stop to sell student accred accreditation this year at the end of May uh, because we were afraid of not uh, being able to provide seats. Um, but we are quite sure that next year we will reach uh, the four thousand uh, student in NC, which is a quarter of the total audience, total attendees. I give the. I'm a little bit sick, sorry. <laughs> I give the. Okay, thank you, Michael. Uh, just uh, to have um, another look on the MIFA side, so to explain also to you how we 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 brought more events year by years uh, dedicated to students, how we accompanied them year by year. So just to have a, first uh, an, an overall look at the market, uh, we have three three offers and uh, and three venues, main venues, uh, which are first uh, a venue for for the booths. We have a lot of booths, uh, and those uh, areas are available to students also, so they are able to go through. Uh, all the pavilions and, and booths from uh, all over the world. So you have all countries and uh, continents represented in the market. And it's easy for uh, students, talents to go through them. Uh, we also have uh, dedicated areas for new technologies, for schools uh, and for recruitment. So they have a lot of um, things to do in these booths approach producers who are looking for talents studios looking for talents but also have a look at new technologies what are the new tools now and how they are evolving uh, quite rapidly now uh, and also uh, being uh, in touch with the with the schools uh, then we have another venue another offer is the industry content so this is more dedicated to uh, professionals for one-on-one -on -one meetings 
uh, for conferences and uh, demo sessions and all kinds of events that are more dedicated to professionals, but we also give access to the students to these uh, uh, to these events because they are also a way of uh, being trained, keep being trained also during the the event. Uh, inside this industry um, uh, content, we also have pitching sessions. So we organize pitching sessions. We have a call for projects every year. Uh, they are not open to students, but the pitching sessions are open also to them and they can attend them to um, understand and see how uh, pitching sessions are organized and how professionals are pitching. So it's a, a great help for them afterwards. Uh, and then we have uh, a new venue that we've built this year. Uh, this is the campus where we organize all kinds of events dedicated to students and talents, uh, which are master classes, uh, training sessions, workshops, uh, so that during one week they got to meet professionals uh, and they got to be trained in different areas. Also in the campus, we have recruitment sessions. Studios are looking for a lot of talents. And ANSI is an important moment for all of them to, um, to recruit. So it starts even before we organize uh, the recruitment online before the event. So the studios receive profiles, select them. And when uh, they arrive in uh, MIFA, they already have selected the talents they are looking for more precisely. So this is, uh, that was the, this latest uh, uh, new um, trend this year was this uh, campus. Uh, and it's been a, a, great, uh, a great success because it's really a place dedicated to them and it uh, helps people to um, evaluate where, in which place they, they, should, uh, they should be according to what they're looking for which is why those three venues um, help everyone to organize oneself during the, the market, which is very, very um, active and busy. So it's essential for us to lead uh, everyone to the right place. Uh, and this is the, where we are um, now. So I'm not sure we should go further in details, but of, of course, we, we, sorry, I, I forgot to uh, show the, the places. So this is the new place of the campus. We had uh, Guillermo del Toro as the, the first participant uh, that was uh, six years ago. And this year we had Jorge Gutierrez as a, as a, for a master class. We had also Richard Williams or Nora Tuome uh, who come um, every year to, um, to give a master class. Uh, and uh, these are the workshops and the recruitment sessions the, that we uh, organize uh, in, uh, in this campus. We welcome f around 4,000 attendees only at, at the campus um, this year. So it's, uh, for us it's an another big step um, with this uh, new offer. Of course we will develop it, develop the content and what we try to do by having a guy like, for example, for Guillermo Del Toro, it's have the top creators coming and exchanging uh, with the with the student, and uh, we we are lucky because you no, know, we we are strong enough to 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 discuss with them and to 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 welcome them uh, uh, in ANSI, and it's a kind of thing that we want to do because we know that this kind of exchange can uh, change the life of a. Uh, young talent uh, because they will get inspired. We have a lot of nice story in Annecy with uh, some guys who came uh, a few years ago uh, as a student and now they are on the big stage, uh, like Jeremy Clapin, like Benjamin Renner, uh, who is directing migra uh, migration for uh, Illumination MyGuff right now, um, like Pierre Coffin, one of the creator of the minions, so they used to come as a to came as student, and now they 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 present their their movies there, and and what we love to do it's uh, it's something that we can see here is the all this energy that when you have four thousand students in an event it changes 
the spirit uh, of the of of the event and we are very proud of as well of the recruitment session because uh, it's uh, it's really as well something that is kind of uh, unique uh, in the event landscape so we did it with since uh, i don't know since a very long time this recruitment session and now as veronique said we have uh, online tools so we try to improve it year after year in order to for recruiters to get direct to to reach the the, the right talent and for the talents uh, to be able to 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 apply and to meet uh, recruiters during the event and, and probably the specificity of NC regarding uh, students' talents uh, is that professionals coming may need some specific talents, but they also come to have uh, a look at what they have in their mind, what are the trends, what are the next um, subjects or projects they want to develop uh, and deal with. And I think a lot of professionals dedicated a lot of time to them during NC, though the market is very busy, but they decide to take uh, quite a lot of time for the meetings because they need to know uh, how they work and um, what what do they have in mind and uh, what will be the the next projects they may want to produce with them and what, who are the next talents they can they can see um, while they are still studying. Who are the, the most interesting um, uh, talents, artists that are in the school and are going out soon to, uh, to work? And it's important to them to spot them quickly uh, in order to start projects uh, or be inspired by, by them for new projects. Thank you. I would like to ask you your collaboration with Gobelin and uh, Les Ecoles d'Animation, which is really important to see all this, uh, I mean, the visibility that you give the opportunity to have uh, those students through the films that are always uh, screened just before uh, the premieres. It is a fantastic advantage. Uh, would you please explain us how this collaboration yes, takes it's, place? Yes, uh, it's an historical um, collaboration with Gobelin, and we have a, a, a school, a Gobelin School in, in Annecy. That's why, as well, they, we, we have this uh, collaboration. Now we collaborate as well with another uh, animation school called, uh, called Les Nouvelles Images, which is in, uh, in uh, Avignon. And beside, we, of course, as the student, we give a lot of access to the schools. There, have, they, there is a dedicated area for school um, in, at the MIFA in NC. Lots of schools um, come because they need to um, have access to the professional, because they need professional to come to the school to see, uh, and to, 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 at the end of the year, to see the different works, uh, to um, do some master class uh, at the school. They need, the school they need as well to to get some training period for for their for their for the student so it's important for school to be there or to meet other school because there is a link between school it's not um, a place where you recruit student as a school it's not uh, we are not that kind of market because it's a, it's the profession the, the market for the the profession for the industry so you are in the industry it's 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 uh, and one of the aspects was also of having uh, schools in NC very uh, represented from all over the world uh, is also the link to uh, studios, how you um, modify the trainings uh, in, uh, in the schools. We see that technology is evolving very rapidly. Uh, so how schools react to that? They need to be in contact with the studios, with the, the technology companies. And this is the place in NC where it can happen. Yes, for example, if you know we 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 have some real time, you know, uh, software to 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 make animations. So it it it's something that schools can observe at the market and say, okay, we have to maybe introduce uh, this new technology um, in our program in order to in adapt to our program, or for example, to have something around XR because it's a new way of of creating content. 
So the, it's, this link is really important. That's why I said that um, having the whole change from the school up to the big platform like Netflix, Amazon, and having all the people that create, study, create, produce, um, broadcast, and distribute uh, animation content is important because being together, I think we are we are stronger. The industry, the level of the industry, can be higher and higher year after year because we this we there is a it's a big exchange during one week. It's a big agora. Uh, the MIFA is a, it's a, is a, an analysis is a big agora during one week. So more we have exchanges, more for us the content will be better and the industry will be better. And that's what we observe with our figures and and with the content. Uh, that we received, I forgot to say that last year we received around 3,000, 300, 4,000 movies, which is a record along its shorts, feature, TV, uh, and graduation. But um, our main problem now, and the, the, the problem that the selection team has to face, is that quantity is something, but we have quantity and quality. And the competition is stronger now uh, because, it, especially uh, for feature film, because in less than five years, ten years, we seen the, the main difference in terms of quality. So now we have more. We we select more feature film um, uh, movie, uh, and this year we had more than ever because of the of the quality and choice are very very difficult. But it's a it's a good news because because at the end it means that and I hope that we will reach a bigger audience uh, in the world for animation. We need that uh, because uh, it's as you know in this in this room it's difficult to produce animation. It's expensive. It takes a long time to to do a, a short or and 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 more time to to do a feature. So. It's at the end what you want to do is reach reach an audience and be able to to do another movie. So this quality it's it's, it's really important and and what we observe as well it's the type of topics. It's more adults for, for feature, so we can cover more more subjects and reach more people more people for the audience. Pour revenir euh, encore à la côté de euh, euh, non excusez-moi <laughs> I come back to to the question with the collaboration with the call for instance next year it will be uh, uh, Portugal so you give the the um, the country uh, I mean how do you proceed how long um, before you say and how long it takes uh, for the students to prepare these movies for uh, the opening for the for uh, for NC, for the festival, it's, it's one year. One year. One year. Yes. They know, for other goblin, they know that they will have to do this movie. So what we what we do is we have a meeting with them. Uh, sometimes when we can in Paris to give some info, uh, just to give some rules. Then they work. Then we come back. We during the production, they, I had the chance to, to 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 do this meeting. So they each team explain what they want to do. Uh, so it's really interesting because they they can work on really different field, different topics, different ideas. And at the end, we 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 have a movie. So it's it's one year. Yeah. And for the Portugal, we. Um, what we will do, uh, we, we we are working with the the Portuguese Portuguese CNC um, ICA. Um, what we will do is try to uh, have as much as we can of student coming to NSC of schools because we want them to be to be involved. So t two weeks ago, I was in Lisbon. I visited. Uh, an university, and I, I met some uh, some student, and I I watched some some uh, works. So yes, what we said to the to the Portuguese organization, it's bring talents, bring studios, bring production company, 
and bring schools. Do not forget to bring schools. So, any questions or comments? Yes, please. Thank you for the presentation to start with. Um, my question is, yes, Le Hoblan is a very established school. They have many talents. But at the same time, I kind of wonder, because you have so many international student films coming to festival, uh, wouldn't that be kind of more diverse and uh, opportunistic to international students to do something for the festival sometimes? It's, uh, it's a good question. Uh, what can I say? Um, we, 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 we are thinking of doing something different. Uh, and we will probably do differently in the future. But it was historical, as I said, we have a, a Goblin school uh, in Annecy. But besides of that, and it's a, it's a big space and it, it's a big place, uh, I, I agree. Um, that we, we, we give a lot of space as well to, to those schools. And they were, and they did, and they do not win every year the prize. This year it was a, an Italian movie that won the the, the crystal. Um, but yes, we will. We are thinking of doing it dif differently. Hello, thank you for the conference. <clears throat> um, I think all the events can lear learn about. Okay. <laughs> you're sick too. It's not my fault, I hope. <laughs> you're far, but... I can text yeah. the question, maybe. Let's try. If not, we can talk in another moment. Is, uh, how you manage the, the proportion from the students and the professionals? Because I think it's a challenge for the conferences, for the making of, for the work in progress. I am so interested in the students, I'm a teacher too. So it's uh, important how you manage this balance for the sessions, for the screenings. It's a challenge, I guess. Yes. Um, it's, it's a good question as well. And we have the debate uh, uh, with the team. Um, I think that, as I said, we are close to 4,000 attend student attendees, which I think will be the, the, the best that we can do um, and, the pro with, and the proportion that we want to reach. Um, because uh, what we want to do is make sure that as, you, as a professional or as a student, you have a good experience, you can have access to the to the theater, you can have access to the to the conferences. So it's a question for students, and for us, it's a question as well for the the, the all attendees because sixteen thousand uh, people. It's something that when we travel with Veronix and we travel since fifteen years together, it's something that we 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 know that it was possible. But reaching reaching that figures now, and having a growth of uh, twenty percent, and it's with twenty two, it's thirty percent growth. It's a lot for an organization. So how we how we keep the spirit? How you make sure that you have access to the theater? How you make sure that people can connect? It's a it's a real question. So um, this year and last year, we stopped to sell some accreditation at the end of May. Uh, so it's another problem that you have to face because you have people that send you and are not happy and send you message by mail during, on the social network. So they don't understand why they they cannot come. Um, and what we will, what we already do, and what we will do in the future, it's more more screening rooms, more time slot for screenings, uh, probably. Uh, so we will increase. Uh, our capacity of having more people. No, not say more people because um, we. Our goal is not not to reach seventeen thousand or eighteen or 
20,000. Um, uh, we, we don't want that. But we will increase our capacity in order to make sure that everybody is happy, everybody can have access. And as I said, a quote, uh, yes, 20% of the, of the total uh, audience uh, with students is, um, I think it's uh, the maximum that we want to, because we know as well, and you know, that there is more and more schools, more and more an animation students uh, in the world and even in France. And we cannot uh, welcome uh, welcome them all, uh, even if we want. So yes, we. But it's but, it's uh, difficult to. Manage at, it. I think for the moment the balance is is all right because also in the events we have quotas, so students can book until a certain number of seats in the conferences in the pitching session, so that also in the room you also have professionals and financial. Uh, uh, companies uh, coming to uh, to produce or uh, but so we we manage with the the quotas and uh, it allows them already to have uh, access to a lot of things probably we will discuss uh, in the future with the schools in order as well for the school to manage it and to to control it because um, as you know more and more programs, animation program, more and more school, even in the, within the school, they, 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 in France, they had more years, so it's more students. So, yeah. It's uh, an important cost that we take in charge under the presence of students, because we have to organize screening uh, rooms, make bigger rooms to also welcome them. Uh, it's a real choice, and for the moment, it's quite... Uh, balance but uh, of course it's a, a matter of uh, proportion according to professionals and also a matter of uh, cost of uh, budget too and the campus helped a lot this year we were uh, it was the good a good the good uh, solution to create this new venue because uh, we it, we are able to develop the content for the students which is the main point but we uh, it allow us to fix some logistic problem that we have in the uh, in the MIFA in the MIFA main venue because of the line big line people waiting uh, for hours and hours people that are not able to get in the the, the, the hotel the, on the MIFA so we wanted to stop that and having a new venue. It's a completely different um, circulation w within the market, which is much better. And we can develop the content. It's not only logistic. Them outside. We have just one, one last uh, information to give. Yes, before. Yes, so we, we so it's, a, it's another step, and we are uh, very happy to announce that the winner of uh, the project, the pitching session here, will be invited to, to MC uh, next June. So, yes, we, we are happy, and uh, we are happy to, with Anima Ciros to provide this uh, opportunity to be able to present and pitch next June in, in Annecy. Thank you. This is big announce. We are so happy that our collaboration goes on. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for Welcome. this uh, lovely collaboration. And uh, don't forget, at one at 3 o'clock, we have the pitching forum here. So we'll see who the winner will be. Uh, it will be announced.